How to Reuse Your Old Computer Hard Drives Computers have become a necessary part of everyday life, and what makes a computer especially useful is the power to save virtually anything digital to it. This is done by saving data to a hard drive. Everything from students' work and personal memories to medical files and bank account info is saved on computer hard drives. When getting a new computer, you lose all of your files on your last computer. With this instruction set, you will learn how to reuse your old hard drive in order to keep all your important documents and files. Keep in mind that some prior computer knowledge is required for this instruction set, as well as prior information about computer hardware. Part 1 Removing Hard Drive 1. Power down the computer Be sure that the power source of the computer is in an open switch mode. In the case of a laptop, this power source is the battery. In the case of desktop computers, it may be wise to leave the computer plugged in if your grounding device is connected to the case of the computer. 2. Open the computer case Most computers' cases can be opened by removing screws that hold the case together. 3. Remove the hard drive from the used computer. After the portion of the case is removed that harnesses the computer components, the SATA and power supply cables must be disconnected. After they are removed, the hard drive may physically be removed from the case. 4. Carefully store the hard drive. It is very important to store the hard drive in a safe place for both long and short storage. Hard drives and other computer components are sensitive to static electrical discharge, vibration, and electromagnetic fields among other risks. Part 2 Installing Hard Drive 1. Power down the computer Be sure that the power source of the computer is in an open switch mode. In the case of a laptop, this power source is the battery. In the case of desktop computers, it may be wise to leave the computer plugged in if your grounding device is connected to the case of the computer. 2. Open the computer case. Most computers' cases can be opened by removing screws that hold the case together. 3. Locate an empty SATA port on the motherboard of the computer. After the computer case is open, prepare the installation of the hard drive by locating an empty port on the motherboard. 4. Connect the SATA cable to the empty port. This will be used to transfer data from the CPU to and from the computer's processor. 5. Locate a spare power supply cable connected to the power supply of the computer. After the SATA cable is connected to the port, locate an available power supply cable connected to the power supply of the computer. 6. Connect the hard drive to the motherboard with the SATA cable. Use the SATA cable to connect the hard drive to the motherboard of the computer. 7. Connect the hard drive to the power supply of the computer. Use the spare power supply cable to do this. 8. Close computer case. After the hard drive has been stored in a secure location inside the computer, close the computer case and reinstall any screws or fixtures used to hold the case closed. 9. Check the bootable drives to ensure successful install. After the computer has been closed, power on and check the bootable drives. This will require interaction with the computer's interface before the loading of Windows. If the install was successful, the newly installed drive will appear in the hard disks section of the bootable drives. It is important to note that booting from this drive is not possible. This step is to verify the BIOS of the computer sees the drive functioning properly. Part 3 Formatting Your Hard Drive, Optional 1. Open File Explorer This can be done with right-clicking the Start button on the taskbar, or pressing the Window key and the E key simultaneously. 2. Right-click the hard drive and select the Format option. This will begin the process of clearing all stored data from the drive and restoring it to factory settings. 3. Load new operating system on hard drive. Insert a CD-ROM with an operating system loaded on it. Check your bootable drives the same way that you check to ensure that your hard drive was installed correctly. Now press the CD-ROM option and follow the operating system's instructions from there. Warnings
Always turn power supply off before working on a PC. Always wear a grounding device while working with computer components. Formatting your hard drive will erase all data on it, so make sure you are committed to formatting. If you choose to format, you must have an operating system on a disk to load on your computer afterwards. Make sure that the grounding device is connected to a source of ground. Things Computer hard drive Working computer Screwdriver SATA cable